Hey there! Uh, a great topic, a great, great, great topic about the inner child. And I, I watched the video by Ralph Smart. Great, great guy. I love his videos. Um, he made a great point about how to find your inner child. And I feel like, especially in the world of spirituality, right, there's a lot of healing your inner child. And I love it because I've done a lot of it, right? But what if it's not all about going back in the meditation and putting light around you and doing all kinds of things, right? Visualizations and, and even like writing letters and forgiving others, forgiving yourself. And that's beautiful. That's all beautiful because it's very healing. And I do believe it's necessary in many, many cases. I've given it to a lot of clients and I've seen really, really impressive results from it, right? But what if also, what if we're forgetting to actually let that inner child come out to play. How often do you do that? How often do you invite your inner child to come out to play? He shared a great point, like when was the last time, when you go to the beach, right? What are kids doing at the beach a lot of the time? When was the last time that you built a sand castle? I can't even remember what the last time was, right? When did you build a sand castle? Like, you were probably enjoying that so much with friends or your sister, your brother, or your cousins or someone, and building that. And it was so much fun, right? Playing out in the water. What if actually bringing that inner child out to play, whatever it might be, singing, dancing, playing out in like the, the monkey bars and the games at the, at the park and the swings and all that stuff, what if that's also very healing? Have you ever thought about that? What, the, what if that's also as healing or even more healing than any other modality that you could use about healing your inner child that the self-development world is trying to sell you on, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know. What if, what if there's some truth behind that? What if... bringing that out can be more healing I know that I love singing like sometimes I'm going in my car and I put the music loud and I just sing like crazy or in the shower everyone around me loves it because I sing like crazy in the shower and it's amazing when I take cold showers I sing even more because it helps me survive that cold shower it helps me get through it even better and I enjoy the hell out of it but I'm singing all the time. Sometimes I'm dancing and just doing like stupid, silly shit around my house. And I love it. I don't know why I called it stupid shit. <laughs> you know what I mean, like just silly things, right? Uh, I love doing that. It brings the inner child out, right? I remember one time I was just like dancing in my pajamas out on the thing, like on the, on the deck above something else like up on the table and I was just like dancing out there for no reason no music no nothing I was just dancing and singing by myself and holy crap I had a good time holy shit and I'm always worried about other people judging me right I've always had that in my mind like I I made other videos about this and I'll make more but uh, fear of judgment has been huge but maybe you can do it only in your bedroom close the door no one will see you just put on some music, do whatever the hell you want to do. But bring out that inner child, right? I was talking to a friend about workouts, right? I was doing more like calisthenics things, more uh, working out in the park, just out in nature. And he was saying like he has a lot of fun actually playing in the playground, right? You can do some pull-ups and you can use like the monkey bars and just play around with that and then push-ups and then play around in the thing and do some lunges or squats or a sprint and then play a little more, right? How much play are you incorporating in your life, right? How much play are you allowing yourself to enjoy? Because sometimes we don't allow ourselves to enjoy that, right? We feel guilty or we, we get so serious in life that, oh, we can't play. I'm a grown-up now, right? I'm 20-something or 30-something or 40-something or 50-something. I don't give a shit how old you are. That inner child doesn't go anywhere. He and she is waiting for you to let him come out and play. Believe me, you're going to feel amazing when you do.
think about it when you drink a little bit and you get loose and whatever and you you just fool around right at a party a wedding or whatever how do you feel how do you feel I'm not gonna answer that for you but how do you feel when you fool around and even better if there's no alcohol involved but if you need that to kind of like let the barriers come down and be able to come out and play that's cool that's right I'm not judging but how do you feel when you do that how do you feel when that comes out to play I know what the answer is come on you know it too you know it too so why why do we get so serious in life it's funny I used to be a clown all the time then I went through a period when I got extremely serious <laughs> I just wanted to please everyone and I just wanted to be liked by everyone and I just wanted to be accepted and loved by everyone and I, don't, I became someone else and that inner child got buried in a little box in a cage and it couldn't come out because I was judging it too much right you stay in there you can't come up but I felt like shit all right I was depressed I was sad I was lacking just like passion for life and just gr gratitude for being alive gratitude for being alive I just want to invite you to I want to invite you to invite your inner child to come out right I'm not gonna tell you what to do right there's enough coaches out there telling you what to do I just want to invite you to consider the idea of inviting your inner child to come out to play whatever it might be whatever whatever you pick is cool with me they all work believe me if you enjoy it if you like it if you're smiling if you're laughing if you're having a good time it's gonna work it's going to work so let me know what your favorite activity is I would love to hear that from you Maybe I'll share more of mine. Um, but let me know. Let me know what happens when you try that, when you explore the idea of letting your inner child come out to play. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Thank you, Ralph, for that video. I now I want to go make a sand castle, but it's a little late. It's getting a little chilly. I'm not going to go now. But when I make one, I'll let you know. And uh, thank you for the video. appreciate it. I love Check out his channel. Check out his videos. Really cool stuff. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you. For watching thank you for all the support the feedback thank you thank you I appreciate it have a good time love you have a beautiful beautiful day peace out